Right, I moved a little bit further on and this is a recently planted area. These trees here got planted out oh, about 18 months ago and they've done really well and the trees in the distance got planted out last autumn so that's their first season outside. This tree here, I've got several of these and I'm particularly pleased to have them. They are called Aidmus and they're from Spain. Uh, and there is a tree which stands in Valencia, which is an Olmus minor, with a little bit of Olmus pumilla, I think, in its genetic makeup, but is resistant and it's been tested uh, after being injected with a pathogen. And all the ones you can get from it are clones, are cuttings, and I've managed to get my hands on several of them. And I'm rather excited by these. They're rather rough leaves. Uh, and it will fit in really well with the landscape in this countryside, uh, being an almost minor. And there's another one over here, this one, which again, I'm rather pleased with. And I got it from the same source. And this one is a Lutec. And a Lutec, a uh, Lutec has got a complicated parentage. There's Hollandica in there, there's Minus, uh, uh, almost minor, Wallachiana. Uh, amongst other things and it's got slightly bigger leaves but they're absolutely emblematic of of an elm tree of an almost minor and it, again it has been fully tested uh, been injected with a pathogen and it's stood up to it well and the third tree that I want to show you on this little video clip is this one and it's an almost lavis and its parent actually stands down in Ladywell Park, which is in Lewisham. And if you go and visit that tree, it's got a plaque at the bottom of it, which calls it an almost oh, Hollandica claimer. And that was put there on the instructions of Peter Bourne. Peter Bourne since has revised his classification of that tree, and he tells me he's confident now that this is almost Lavis, and I'm sure he is right. And I've taken dozens and dozens of seedlings from it uh, and propagated them. I must have another. 25 in the yard this year and it's great fun to give them away to friends and neighbours. It is not resistant to Dutch elm disease but the beetles do not like it uh, and they survive because the beetles don't alight on it and therefore it does not get the pathogen. And moving on round there's plenty more and I'll look at some of these other elms in another video.